there are these opportunities for a partnership in ways in which um, there is complementarity uh, between rel religious and secular frameworks or approaches to women's rights. And it's, it's de it, it can, there's a potential for it to be a two-way street of knowledge and information sharing and support for each other. Definitely some of the women that I spoke to talked about this continuing fetishizing of the Muslim woman, the poor Muslim woman by Western actors who are interested in partnering with Muslim women's rights groups. Whereas other uh, Muslim women's rights activists that I spoke with said that they receive a lot more support and understanding of their work by uh, Western secular partners, support that they don't get locally. Uh, the religious secular dynamics at a local level can sometimes feel a lot more charged, right, than at a transnational level. And so for some of these organizations, especially when it comes to their advocacy work, they get really important support both in terms, both financial, but also um, resources and other, other types of support. They can get that um, transnationally or from Western-based organizations. They're unable to get that locally. Oftentimes we focus on the support that the Global North can give the Global South in terms of finances and resources, but organizations like Sisters in Islam have a certain expertise uh, that they can offer the other, part, other, other countries and other parts of the world. So Sisters in Islam uh, more recently has been asked to do uh, trainings, uh, has been asked by Western governments and Western organizations to do trainings on how to approach women's rights within different religious communities in the West, as one example. Um, they've also done trainings with uh, the CEDAW Committee, for instance, Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, um, on how do you handle when countries put forward uh, the religion flag, right, um, in, in um, putting forward these reservations against human rights treaties. And so an organization like Sisters in Islam says that uh, the government doesn't speak for us and even the major um, or, or the, the traditional conservative religious institutions don't necessarily speak for the entire population. And, you, and uh, women's religious voices are just as important and, and we have to make sure that they're not silenced in this process.